Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Hallelujah Wildlife Monday, May 13th, 2024. It is 1.14 p.m., just a, about an hour and five minutes till kickoff time with these Monday night after school group, wildlife, bittersweet memories, guys, or not bittersweet memories, but bittersweet feelings. You know, I, I love these kids on Monday nights, but just as I came down to do this video, get in the shower, it's like, God had put on my heart, if we were to take these kids, and I think we're going to do this next week, and sit them all together and ask them one thing that they learned this year, I don't know what any of them would answer, guys. I really don't. I know next year God is going to change things. It's going to be more powerful. It's going to be more about the word of God and truth. It's going to be less fun and games and more about Jesus Christ, because that's what this is about. This isn't a, I mean, there's several other options that kids can go to and do for two hours of free babysitting, but, you know, that's just me, guys. Like I said, it's bittersweet feelings. I won't miss seeing these guys on Mondays, but I'm ready to take a break, regroup, and come back more powerful, more on fire for the Lord, and glorify Him more. Amen. But praise God for everything, for all, every one of them kids, every co-leader that I've been blessed to be involved with, and just for the opportunity of this Monday ministry. And I praise God for every one of you, and thank you for joining me today. Today's title, Wisdom Over Worry. Like I just said, I'm not going to worry about next year. I'm going to seek God's wisdom and guidance, and he's going to make it be whatever he wants it to be. Amen. Um, our scriptures today, I don't know what I've got highlighted, folks. My printer's acting up. I know it's Proverbs chapter 4. I think I highlighted 20 through 20-something, 20 24, 25. Guys, just get into Proverbs 4 or click on the highlight link, whatever you want to do. Just, just please read those highlighted scriptures. The Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. This is in the message. Again, this is another one of those situations where, eh, I like it. It's it's uplifting and feel good, but let's try to get it as close to the original. And I, I said that the other day in one of my videos, you know, that about the New King James being, guys, that's New King James is far from the original text, the original scriptures, but we're not going to get theological. The original scriptures with Hebrew, Greek, Aramaic, Latin. Guys, we're reading English, so... But for me personally, the King James and the New King James kind of, you, you just know, you know, when you read it, the Holy Spirit will say, yes, this is what I'm telling you. OK, let's just read this in the message and I'll explain a little bit. This is what the word of God says. Listen well to my words. Tune your ears to my voice. Keep my message in plain view at all times. Concentrate. Learn it by heart. Those who discover these words live, really live body and soul, they're bursting with health. Yeah, yeah, I get that, guys. Nowhere in the any other translations does it say to learn it by heart. God does not expect you to memorize scripture by heart. He does ask you, now look at here. There comes my printer. Praise God. I'm telling you what. God, it is, it's going to distract me a little bit, and I hope it doesn't interfere with this video and my, my speaking. And it's probably going to print about six copies. But, um, it's the Holy Spirit that teaches you all things and reminds you all things anyway, guys. It's not memorizing scripture, but you meditate and like our background, you dig deep into the word of God. And the more you read something, you write it down, you reread it, it gets imprinted on your heart. It gets imprinted in your memory. It transforms these minds. Now we're living according to the word of God instead of living according to the world. Amen. I would love to, I would absolutely love to be blessed with being able to sit down and just speak the entire Bible from front to back, from Genesis to Revelation. But guys, come on. All we need to know is Christ is in us, and he'll give us the words at the right time. Amen. We got a two-parter today. First part comes out of worry less, pray more. Again, you can't worry and pray at the same time. If you're worrying, you're not praying. If you're praying, you're not worrying. Back, just, just, yeah, you get it. Uh, this is what it reads. David writes that worrying leads to evil and harm. Guys, we said that, that worrying is actually sin because it'll lead to evil and harm. That's Psalm 37, verse 8. His son Solomon tells you God's wisdom leads to an awesome life. Come on. Whew. So if you want the best life, dig into God's wisdom. Guys, I absolutely love today's background. I want that T-shirt. I want that T-shirt, and I just want to to say, dig into the truth. 
Guys, don't just flip your Bible over and read them one or two verses a day, the verse of the day, the calendar. Man, guys, dig deep into the Word of God. Dig deep. How much do you want your life to change? How much are you willing to dig into the Word of God? Um, you'll find it throughout the Bible, but especially in Proverbs. I believe we discussed that not long ago, that Proverbs is called the Book of Wisdom. There's a lot in Proverbs about wisdom. There, King Solomon provides insight into how to deal with everyday issues, including how to work, act, talk, think, curb your anger, and so much more. That pretty much covers a lot, folks. In the verses above, Solomon strongly suggests you learn some verses by heart. Perhaps you could start by reading Proverbs every day. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. Read Proverbs. I've done it multiple times throughout the past seven years. Just get into Proverbs. I believe I did it last week at my lunch break. I just put Proverbs audio Bible on, and I sat there and listened to it during my lunch. It got in this vessel. It got into my ears, and it got into my heart. It got into my brain. Play it when you go to sleep at night, when you go to bed, when you're bored. If you're just sitting reading, I don't want to say why you're reading a book, let it play, because it's kind of distracting. But you guys know what I mean? Get, get Proverbs in you. Just get it in you. It's good stuff. Um, when you come to a verse that really speaks to you, here we go. That gives you guidance or peace about a situation. Memorize it. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. One of my life verses, me and my brother Dave, I had the coffee cup. I still got the coffee cup. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own expectations. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Guys, that's a couple of scriptures that will never, ever part to his heart or my memory. There's a lot in Proverbs. Proverbs, I think it's 27, 17, I believe, or 17, 27. Guys, I just know it's in Proverbs. Um, I, I just went blank. Don't you know where I was going with that? Something about it. <laughs> See, guys, I, I'm not going to hell because I don't remember what it says. If you understand what I'm saying? This is something about a brother. I, I'm, I'm going to get on there and look at it up. Guys, you already know. You already know I'll be discussing it tomorrow. My, my brain is on these kids right now. Praise God. Um, so when a verse does speak, you guys, write it down. Put them little note cards in your wallet, your purse, your pocket, whatever you got to do. Put them where you can see them. Tape them to the bathroom mirror in the mornings just so you read it in the mornings. Get you a little placard. Whatever you got to do. Whatever whatever Holy Spirit puts on your heart, folks. Um. Before you know it, God's wisdom will stand in place of your worry. Amen, guys. If we're reading that scripture every morning, that, that, that verse that speaks to you, the verse the Holy Spirit taps you on the shoulder and says this one. This is the one I want you to meditate and concentrate on for, for a while. Guys, I promise you, if you just meditate on one verse for a week, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, I, I feel it in my heart. If you take that one verse and you just meditate on it every day for seven days, seven number of completion, I guarantee it's probably going to be imprinted on your heart. And next time you hear it or see it, it you're going to remember it. One of my apps on my phone, guys, one of the apps I have is Bible, Bible memory, Bible verse. It's a Bible trivia game, four different categories. You know, it's got this, uh, the, the book of the Bible, the chapter and the verse, and it gives you four or five scriptures to choose from. And you pick which one you think it is or you, and which one you know it is. It'll give you the verse and then you got to pick which book and chapter. It'll give you scriptures with a bunch of words missing out of it, and you got to fill in the blanks. And then it'll also have you arrange the books of the Bible in, in chronological order. Yeah, that sounds hard and difficult, but guys, I get in there now, and it's like I'm flying right through, maybe getting one wrong out of 10 on each of those four categories. Guys, that's called digging deep. That's called digging deep. I'm not saying that's what you have to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Download that app. Just do some Bible trivia. If you want to get closer to God and you want to have that wisdom, what are you doing about it? What are you doing about it? That's, that's the only question I can ask you. And our second part comes out of Matthew Henry's concise commentary. He writes this. Attentive hearing the word of God is a good sign of a work of grace begun in the heart and a good means of carrying it on. There is in the word of God a proper remedy for all diseases of the soul. Man, Holy Spirit medicine. We say that all the time, folks. Keep thy heart with all diligence. I believe the scriptures we say from out from out of it flows the wellspring of life. We must set a strict guard upon our souls. Keep our hearts from doing hurt and getting hurt. A good reason is given because out of it are the issues of life. There we go. 
that right there was kind of his translation of that scripture, guys, in Proverbs. So, folks, wisdom over worrying. We said it multiple times. I will not stop saying it. Whatever your situation is, whatever you're dealing with, what are you doing about it? Are you just watching this video, feeling good for five, ten minutes, maybe an hour or two, and then right back at it the next day? Or are you digging deep? Are you taking the scriptures that are being highlighted? Because, guys, that's the best I can do for you is give you the scriptures that, that are on these devotionals. I can't force you to read them. I can't give a pop quiz tomorrow. All I can do is encourage and suggest the things that I know have worked for me, the things I know God calls us to do. He wants us to be intimate and close. That's why he's given us the Bible, guys. We are without excuse. So, folks, if you want solutions, you, you got to dig deep. You've got to dig deep. That is like the best advice anybody can give anybody. Every single problem and solution is in the Bible. But yet we want to walk around and woe is me when, you, when we got the answer to our fingertips, guys. So that's one of the great things about God is free will. He gives us choice. We don't have to open it up. We don't. We can just continue to wallow in our self-pity until he returns. Or we can open it up. We can dig deep. We can drop that ladder. I love that. Man, we got an extension ladder down in this hole with this this person is big and deep, but guys, I pray that this background speaks to you, but above all, I pray that you read those scriptures, get into Proverbs, do, do, listen to it. Let's get an audio tape, download the app and just listen to Proverbs while you sleep. You'll wake up. You're, I'm, I'm going to say you almost wake up feeling a little bit smarter, but you, you wake up feeling more peaceful and relaxed because you got more God's wisdom in you. And guys, we can go on and on, but we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining today. Until tomorrow, Tuesday the 14th, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.